Welcome back. So we're back to the University of Seoul graduate admissions since we already did the undergraduate admissions. The admissions application is very similar to the one that we did for undergraduate admissions. So we're just going to exit our presentation and just go to Google and click for University of Seoul. Now after searching for University of Seoul, we're just going to scroll down and click on the first one. So we're just going to click on the first one, which is University of Seoul, and we're going to click on the admissions. And after clicking on admissions, the, you need to download the application guideline in English for graduate program. And after downloading that, I already downloaded it. So we're going to click on apply for graduate as we look at it right now. And you click on graduate for apply. And as you can see, it's very similar. Click on English and it will all change for English for you and the application deadline is April 8, 2019 to April 17, 2019, 4 p.m. So we're we're right inside that deadline. So we're going to scroll down. Um, application fee is about um, $70 um, and, and it's the same for undergraduate. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to proceed to the application. So we need to sign up as usual. If you already had an account, you can just go in. But since I, my account is not working today, I'm just going to make a new one. And let's see, I'm just going to quickly create one. And if you don't have one, please create the account with me. Yes, this is going to take a little bit. your account Wait. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So we can just go to this and repeat the same process and go to the application portal and if you do that you'll already be logged in right here so we're going to exit and we're going to continue our process so we're going to click on foreigner and click on for applicant not holding an alien registration number and I agree Alrighty, so before we go through the agreement or anything, we're just going to quickly look at the graduate admissions application guideline that we downloaded. So at, if you click on that, it's going to go to this page and graduate admissions for international students. Since we're looking at fall semester, fall semester schedule online application, so 2019 and um, okay. I'm going to look at eligibility for admissions, um, application fee, maybe requirement documents, and scholarship for international graduate students, and important notes for all applicants. So if, if everything else, uh, if, you, if you do want to look at it, you can look at it, but I'm just going to cover the most important parts. So eligibility requirements, um, a person who is either one or two of the following applicants must be non-Korean citizen with non-Korean parents. Um, a foreigner who holds multiple nationalities, including Korean nationality, is not eligible to apply. So it's, you can be either one or two. So number two is a foreign applicant or a Korean national residing abroad who has completed education equivalent to that of a country at Korean elementary school to university in foreign countries. Um, so in case of two, an applicant must completed even one program at a Korean school during his or her entire education course is not eligible to apply. So number two, academic background. Um, if you're applying for a master's degree, um, you need to hold at least one or two um, at a domestic or foreign university or for a person who has obtained a bachelor's degree or is expected to receive it before the enrollment. Um, relevant to laws, a person who is recognized to have an academic background that equals or more than this. So if you um, 
if you're applying for master's degree, you need to have at least a bachelor's degree or higher. And if you're applying for a PhD degree, um, you need to obtain a master's degree or higher. So they expect you to do this. So if you do not hold any of this degree, you need to apply for an undergraduate. Um, performance test. So there is a performance test um, information if you want to apply for architecture, music, or environmental sculpture. So we're going to scroll down and additional evaluation for these things. Number of students to be admitted, no limitations, and required documents. So this will be covered in the application process, but you can look back at this application guideline while we're applying for the application. And application fee is same as usual is $70. And refund fees, um, there is a reason for refund. Um, if you do um, enter the admission, if you don't enter the admission process because of these reasons, um, uh, admissions fee will be refunded. And there is also a scholarship for international graduate students. So after admitting your application um, for PhD full tuition, recipients will be selected according to scholastic ranks in each department. So it doesn't list, um, oh, you have to be in the top 10% of the inter international student as a whole. You have to be top percent, top, top, um, top international student in your department. When you're applying for the department, make sure you are the best and also Masters, um, half tuition recipients will be selected according to scholastic ranks in each department. Um, so you're selected for each department, not by percentage. So that's good. And all right, so there's dormitory, student dormitory, double room. There's a cost to it, An international house, double room, three single, four single and it costs more. So if you want to um, be more economical, you can choose student dormitory, and I'll cover that when we're applying. So important notes for all applicants is the same as undergraduate, but it contains some, um, uh, some important notes for um, other departments as well. So make sure you read it carefully. So this guideline is only for the foreign applicants to apply for master's and PhD full-time programs of the University of Seoul in case of the applicants who want to apply to a graduate program or, or professional graduate school or special graduate school, please refer to their admissions guidelines. So this is for because um, University of Seoul located in Korea, this is for um, admission guideline located in Korea and professional graduate school or special graduate school um, uh, is another branch and another sector of University of Seoul, but we're not going to be concerned about that because we're going to be looking at University of Seoul graduate admissions. So we're going to come back and we're going to quick, quickly go through the agreements for the application sake, but make sure you read through the application very carefully. And we're going to go through the application procedure. So um, for here, you can either choose master's or PhD and you fill in all your name and your registration number is already filled for you and alien registration number probably not because we are not and you choose your nationality passport number and you should upload your passport and as you can see current mailing address your address email you included that in your um, when you're signing up for this account and you need to put in your educational background where you got your bachelor's degree and you need to also this is not required but it is um, I would recommend it um, to prove that you're um, proficient in Korean but if you don't want to you don't have to since it's not required it doesn't have the red asterisk next to it so as you can see, um, there is a type of interview since if you want to go there and take the interview yourself, I wouldn't recommend it because you have to have the airplane ticket. I would just do um, 
by phone interview only for student abroad and yes you're applying for accommodation and probably the residence hall because we looked at it and it's more cheaper residence hall residence hall is yeah international house expensive residence hall is more cheaper um if you want to put in your application fee refund account um you can do it but it's your choice so after filling out all this information you're going to go to payment and pay your application fee which is 70 dollars and if you don't want to pay it you don't have to just mail university of seoul and that's about it i'm not sure if you will get the tuition application fee waived or not but if you do have the money and if if you do want to apply please do even though you have to pay the application fee and you just confirm your documents and after that you're good to go so i finished the application process for university of seoul graduate admissions i hope this helps and i'll see you in the next video